Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. I am definitely in the mood for some Grand Theft Auto Wing action. Although, hey Gary, how's it going? Although Michael might not be in the mood for doing more Federal Bureau missions. He was supposed to be done with this crap, but you know, some things just never die. It's like Lester said, they'll probably keep him working until they get rid of him or someone else does. I'm glad you're doing good, Gary. Let me get a good look at you. <laughs> I never get tired of that joke. I hope you don't either. <laughs> okay. Let's start the game, shall we? As you can see, there's the death counter and everything. I'm sure I'll be using it soon, but not right now. Not until I actually need it. Wow, that is well-timed, isn't it? That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Co Ritz? More like Co Razy. <laughs> Love the decor. It looks nice, doesn't it? Especially for a game that originally released on the PS3. I heard uh, something weird about Grand Theft Auto 6, though. I'm guessing this is only for console versions, but apparently they're going to be using facial recognition software just to make sure that underage kids aren't playing it. And while I understand not wanting kids to play Grand Theft Auto 6, that seems a little draconian for my liking. You must submit yourself to facial recognition software before we will allow you to play our game. I mean, um... Is, is it just me or does that sound a little weird? Just to play a game, even if it is Grand Theft Auto 6. It just seems a little bit excessive. Maybe it's just me. Ah, see? Maybe that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Yeah. Good guys. Bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Hey, Aim, how's it going? We agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? The thing. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. This just got we crazy, you didn't it? These boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No, oh, same goddamn leg. Gun! What the hell? Man, this got crazy. Sorry, uh, AIM. I was in the middle of watching a cutscene. Hi, how's it going? I'm fine, how are you? 
As you can see, things are going slightly off the rails right now. I ain't going anywhere, David. Screw it. I guess I gotta kill everybody. No, it's screw it. Let's go minigun. <laughs> if it's gonna turn into a shit show, I'm gonna turn it into a shit show too. If I gotta kill everybody, I'm gonna kill everybody in style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mow them all down. I'm gonna kill them all. We just gotta kill everybody. And then you won't have to worry about it, will you? You see, I bought this minigun for a reason. And 2,000 rounds, baby. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Good point. But on the other hand, minigun. I want to act. I kind of want to act, if I'm being honest. I got a minigun and I want to use it. <laughs> you know? Wait, what the? Trevor is helping him? What? <laughs> huh. Trevor's on our side? I thought he wanted Michael dead. <laughs> oh, he's like Vegeta. No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run. Oh, he's like Vegeta. <laughs> you ever seen um Vegeta, especially on Fusion Reborn? I always told you, Kakarot, if anyone's going to end your miserable existence, it's going to be me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no, I'm using keyboard and mouse. This is the PC version. I just didn't know where they were coming from. The frick? Okay. Okay, give me the minigun. Man, I love using that. I am the weapons guy, and this is my weapon. <laughs> this is great. Where's the chopper? Ah oh, shit, my health is getting low. Below average, he says. Yeah, I agree. It does. It just cuts through them like butter, and I love it. Oh, I gotta go downstairs, probably. kill all of them, then we'll be off their radar. They won't have a radar left. I'll shred right through their stupid radar. Okay, I'm, I'm here. I'll defend you. Don't worry about it. Nice. You can handle some of these, can't you, buddy? Yeah, I learned how to fly with the mouse and keyboard. It wasn't the easiest thing, but what are you gonna do? Nice. 
Never underestimate my minigun, mother fricker. Uh, CT does care. T doesn't want to kill me just yet. He still considers me. He was still close to me at one point. Ah, right. Uh, I was in the live. What? What do you mean? Be careful, Davy. Okay then. Okay. Cool. I guess I'll take this one then. Um, how to fly? You basically use the mouse to fly. It's a little tricky. Or you could try to use it. You could try to use the um, arrow keys on the keyboard, but that's trickier. I prefer to use the, the mouse. You know, I could lose it by destroying it. That's a way, that's one way of losing it. Just saying. Okay, that works too. <laughs> but yeah, you can either use your mouse or you can try to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. I prefer how to I prefer to use my mouse. A wild pharaoh seed appeared in the Twitch chat if anyone's interested. Well, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> you see, this is why I've got a minigun. Isn't life so much more grander when you have a minigun, huh? <laughs> I am strong, and they are little babies. Little tiny men. No match for Sasha. <laughs> Hey, T. That was fun. I probably shouldn't approach him with a minigun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, my friend. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to tell you. I've been meaning to tell you, you know? I mean, what, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, what Clear the fuck did you come back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. I was right. If it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but... If it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester, let's go. On yeah, my computer's a potato, but it's good enough for this. It originally hey, released on the PS3. Me. It doesn't Hello, require that much. Go. Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, you saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hugs out of the question. <laughs> he wants to uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Braved history, but history nonetheless. All right, there. You happy? Fucking thrilled. I actually Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on. Have you. something planned. I actually found a really cheap computer that's better than this one, though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, reveal it here. I found a much better computer than this, or at least it's much newer, much less outdated. And I found it really cheap, so it should arrive within a few days. So, uh, I do not have a VR headset. I wish I did. I would love to have a VR headset, but you know, that, 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 that stuff is expensive. Yeah, exactly. This is a DDR3 computer. That one will be DDR4. 
And I don't how much I don't know how much better the processor is. Obviously, I'm gonna still use the same video card until I can find a better one for that. But it should make things smoother. Also, I got some new I'm gonna get new RAM for it, so it's gonna have double the amount of RAM and it's gonna be DDR4. And it should have a decently strong CPU compared to this. So yeah. I'm getting a little upgrade. <laughs> And I'm glad to see you, Aim. I don't know what to call you, if you'd prefer to be called something else. But yeah, I'm excited. The fireworks are gonna start. As for Frank. I better switch over to Frankie. Good old Frankie. But yeah. It would be nice if it could run Yuzu better. Because this computer, I can run Yuzu on it, but a lot of games on it are a little laggy. So if I could run that better, that'd be great. Especially because after Grand Theft Auto V, I plan to play Red Dead, Red, Redem Red Dead Redemption 1. And obviously it doesn't have a PC release, I don't know why. For some reason, Rockstar decided to put it on last-gen consoles in the Switch, but didn't put it on PC for some reason. Oh, wait, what the? Ah, oh, it's glitching out. <laughs> ah, no wonder. But yeah. Oh, what did you say? Um... Oh, I said hopefully this this uh, newer computer will allow me to run Yuzu better because I plan to play Red Dead Redemption 1 after this. And hopefully I can get it running decently smoothly. Because I want to see the rest of John Marston's story. I played Red Dead Redemption 2 before this, and I loved it. But I, ne I never played the first one, which technically takes place after Red Dead Redemption 2. But I want to. And as you can see, I'm using my own soundtrack for this. This song is from Super Mario Odyssey. Good stuff. But we gotta get there somehow. Up, up, or down. Follow you. Moon, then that's no jest. Ah, there's Frank's car. I don't know why he never just takes this. I took the time to custom make this car special. <laughs> and he just rides his little bike everywhere. Frankly, I take that as an insult. <laughs> Roblox. Maybe eventually, but there are far too many games as it is. I'm not against the idea. It's just that I got a lot of other stuff, you know? Way too much stuff. There are way too many games. <laughs> way too many games I want to play, too. Wonder who that could be. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want? Lamar again? He's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. Wow. He's just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Man, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with Stretcher set him up. <sighs> Fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? Wow. I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but Looks this like... life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. 
Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Yeah, you that's do what fair. You gotta do. You can find some cheap PCs out there, though. In fact, I found this one for 70 bucks. It's a little over 100 because I'm getting that RAM. It's 32 gigabytes. And obviously, I'm shoving a video card into it. Other than that, it's not that expensive. You can find some cheap used hey, stuff. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It yeah, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Now, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. Yeah. Oh, I'm fair sorry to hear that. Up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet I me I hope you can here? find something for you. aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. In the meantime, though, I've heard good things about Roblox. I just have way too many other games that I want to play, you know? I'm not against playing at some point. Just I got some stuff on my plate first. can make some creative shortcuts and maybe I'll just get myself killed in the process <laughs> or just get stuck in a tree that works too yeah would you believe this is from a version of Duke 3d seriously the Saturn version of Duke 3d has this really bad map called Yuri of 51 that it, it sounds ridiculous and it's even more ridiculous. It's basically just a straight line with the conveyor belt. Oh, hey, Zeldathology, good to see you. I don't think I've seen you before, so welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just gonna bail Lamar out of another jam. That seems to be what Frank's good for, bailing out him. No problem. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite fan songs, especially. Someone actually made a rap song about Metroid, and it is old, but it is good. Just listen to this. Comprehend and uncontained outbreak is about to begin. And yo, this is something that you can't avoid. An urban epidemic that is the Metroid. This is something that you can't comprehend. And uncontained outbreak is about to begin. Another my eyes beam. In the facility, try to have the pterodactyl name of Ridley. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Hard to find, yeah. Well, I hope you find. I hope you're able to find something. Maybe you can find something that's decent. Like I said, uh, Grand Theft Auto V originally came out on the PS3, so the requirements aren't that high. The bar to entry is not as high as you may think, if you're willing to go on low. 
Oh, there are people with integrated Intel graphics who managed to play Grand Theft Auto V by seriously gimping the graphics. So it can be done if you just want to play it at all. It might not look this good, but, you know, better than nothing. Ah, you play on PS3? That's cool. And you, you could probably get you probably have Grand Theft Auto V for that. It still looks pretty good on the PS3, all things considered. The character models especially look just as good. Just maybe the lighting isn't quite as refined and the vegetation is a little more sparse. Other than that, it's not that much worse. Yeah. Just a bit. Oh, look at that. I, I remember I saw that. I thought to myself, you know what, this is going to factor into the story at some point. Something important is going to happen here. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Yeah, oh, these two shit, are like babies. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. Yeah, T's crazy. I'm gonna find a way in. I mean, if I had to choose between saving him and Michael, I would say that Michael probably has more to live for, but... I yeah, I don't want either of them to die, obviously. I'm gonna go for the bulldozer. Let's go ass deep with a freaking bulldozer. What do you guys say, huh? Hell yeah. Hells to the yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the front knoll. Oh, nice. Like five times fully. Oh, that's cool. This is my first time playing through Grand Theft Auto V. I've been enjoying it. Full frontal assault, baby. Okay, I'm gonna do the support fire thing. Where's Lamar at? Besides, I like having slow-mo working for me. Where's Lamar at? Ah, shit, where are they coming from? Nice. Give me some cover fire, baby. Where's Lamar? <laughs> yeah, it is a beautiful game. There's Trevi. He's uh, wrecking some shit. <laughs> okay, that's still Trevi. I gotta, I gotta find the bad guys here. I know we're the bad guys, but still, <laughs> I gotta find the the bad guys that aren't on my side. <laughs> yeah, they're behind something. I can't really do anything. No, it's screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to uh, Frankie. Time for some more minigun action. Are you ready for this? What the shit? What killed me? Play like I just got shot out of nowhere. Focus, you fool! What the frick? <laughs> he runs away from the fight. I run ah, the fuck. Wall. Really? You gotta, you gotta do this again? I mean, I guess that's so you can pick a different method, but... I mean, really? Two, down the hill to 
my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me. By the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Don't shoot and don't get too close. We don't want them to know we're here until we want them to know we're here. Uh, okay. You're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. I got this bulldozer should make an impact. Yeah. I position. Hey, I got a good advantage. I'll see yeah. what I can do up here when the time comes. Yeah, I died a, a bit. Shot is coming at him from two different directions. Mate. Frank, we'll attack on your signal. Let's go find the dude. I'll take out whoever I can. Chicken hot, homie. Crack up. Whoop. I better uh, take cover here instead of going for the Leroy Jenkins approach. Having a minigun isn't going to help me if I die. <laughs> these bastards there's one I like that you can you can choose which playstyle you want to go with for the most part kind of there he is is that why I died because one of them had a rocket launcher that's messed up Okay, where the hell are you guys, huh? Yeah, darn, it didn't blow up. I was hoping it would blow up. I may have got myself into something. Oh, I can't switch to the minigun. That sucks. Bring out the mar. We'll go away. It's time to rip and tear. There's Frankie. Probably don't want to shoot him yet. Um, played uh, Black Ops 2. I've I don't think I've really played any of the Black Ops games. I played some of Modern Warfare 1, but not too many uh, Call of Duty games, no. Ah shit. Okay, where is that sniper? Yeah, where is he? There he is. Bingo. I'm not doing very well on my aim, am I? Maybe I should, uh... There we go. Darn it. I got you covered, boyo. Kinda. I did. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Trevor. Why can't I use the minigun? That sucks. Okay, now I can use it. I, I guess you can't use it undercover. That makes sense. I don't need cover, baby. I got the minigun. Yeah. Who needs cover when you've got a minigun? Wait, is that Lamar? Is Lamar in that? Is he the blue dot? I got eyes on Lamar. Hey, Lamar. Oh, hey, Fiona. How's it going? Oh, crazy dude. Hey, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get up. Let's go. There's more of them coming. Come on, boys. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, Frank's here too. Hey, Frank, you thought 
he came by himself? Come on, man. Man, this shit looks like overkill. Well then. Uh, I better switch out. Nicely done. Anyone else? There goes the next contestant. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'm not sure. Sorry, I gotta remain focused on this because there's a lot of guys. Where the hell are they? Oh, there's still a guy. My bad. There we go. That's better. There's someone in that direction? Vaguely? Hiding where I can't get them. There we go. How are you, Fiona? I hope you're doing well. You are in violation of Trevor's law. I sentence you to death. Thanks, sneaky dude. I still ain't met your ass. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Take this car, it'll be fast. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn and get horny on your office supply. Okay. Anyway. Shit, homie. You alright? I'm straight, homie. At least it's over now. I didn't get you to come all the way out here. Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or a get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a right now, for me, it's 507. I out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up. Homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show, sure? cause I'm sure there's been a few times. Where... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Uh, Every PM. time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Since you've been a uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Why don't you make friends with Lester? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help him. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools roll oh, that's cool. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four of gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly, you can't. Next time, <laughs> homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. You know the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back then? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Wow. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show stress. Okay, new. see ya. Have a nice day. Yeah, nigga stress new. 
Everybody knew she was nice evening, rather. Stress new, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Miss Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's the vibe. Thank you. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick... <laughs> Need to pay attention to the road. Brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> you should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the great plain beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all what? day. <laughs> Bitch, please. This guy is uh, a little bit uh, colorful in his allegories. <laughs> boom, boom, aggression, running, running. Pedal <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> Bring her a pain. Man, this car is spinning out like crazy. Wait. Ah, shit. The like the back the back tire seems like it's stripped down to the bare minimum. No wonder it's uh, having trouble steering here. Probably because it was in the middle of a firefight. No wonder I'm having trouble steering it. Like that rear tire is looks like it's barely got any rubber left. I'm practically I'm practically grinding it here. It's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be hell to pay. Gonna be hell to pay. Boom, boom. Here you go, you're welcome. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the city. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. 
The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what of all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Hey, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Okay, then. Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. Well. Now that has me conflicted, I don't like the idea of doing stuff for them. But. As I was uh, going to say. Okay, F dog. So my dad's not like a like complete ass. I'm gonna go to the premiere of his movie, Church Bro. I uh, gotta meet him at. Oh, huh. okay then. Anyway, he just saved Lamar's ass. Gives him some money. Just, uh, just immediately he does it without even hesitating. This guy is asking for more money and he gets upset about it. What? Seems a bit ungrateful to me, doesn't it? Maybe it's just man, it seems a little ungrateful. Excuse me, I'm gonna need your car. Oh wait. That's blue. That means it's uh Frank uh, that that means it's uh Michael's territory. Seriously though. Seems a bit ungrateful on Lamar's part. Gee, thank you for saving me. Thank you for giving me this money. I don't know what to think about that, though. I said if it if it came down to Michael uh, and Trevor, the suburbs? I'd probably go with uh, Michael just because he has more potential f with his life. But yeah, exactly, exactly, Gary, exactly. Anyway, you made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy, again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor. Right. Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him. Calm him down. Just get me out. Yeah. If it came down to it, but I don't want to do it just because they said to. Only if I absolutely have to. If there's a way to keep everybody alive, I'd rather go with that. Cause I don't want to kill Trevor. He may be crazy, 
But at least he has some loyalty. He has some good values, too. But that's the good thing about it. There, there are no clear-cut black and white cases in this game. Trevor has his good moments. And Franklin doesn't want to kill him. Changing your tuxedo to attend the Meltdown premiere. That'll be a pause and buy soon. Uh, you better get a badass tux. Uh, let me know if you need help. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's go James Bond. Okay, this one looks good. You gotta go with the classic tie. Here we go. But yeah. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on. Huh. A stretch limo. Okay, oh, cool. Class, Jim. Nice. Do the I go on the other side? Are you joking? Come on! I'm Island coming. Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Nice. Champagne, I love how it still goes to the self to the um and the big dog getting our drink on. Self radio. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Wow, okay. Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie. What are you doing, Jimmy? Kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on reality rehab show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the Jimmy's contacts nuts. I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Wow. Ooh, yeah. You see the street's edge losers? Chisel in the movie fizzle. Hear that Pinewood? You hear that Pinewood? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're Dude. actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my necros. Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, title. Because I am. Jimmy. Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. This guy's getting a little too big for his own good. Okay, what we got? Devin. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you. But you don't threaten me. Hey, buddy. Because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. She caused her own death. She ran towards the turbine. She overreacted. That's kind of on her. I'm just saying. It's kind of on her. Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up in the late. Uh, of course they will. Right. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the thought is that. Uh, hey, pal. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, oh, it's him again. Red carpet of meltdown. Some big stars. Some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some him again. tonight. Come on. We did it. Solomon. We fucking did it! Fucking it! Hey, Laszlo! You, fate. I may be a Hope you're doing well, buddy. Husband, but I'm a husband with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame. Um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> perverts. Wow. Come on. No, 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 no. He wants to talk about perverts, huh? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, 
when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby. I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Can I just have a okay. hug? That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> I think he remembers me. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin. The fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. What'd he do? Okay, what'd this bastard do? Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family. What the hell? What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his ah, lawyer shit. died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill my She mom ran towards you? the turbine. She killed herself. I gotta say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. She killed herself, technically. I mean, come on. Just You'll tell the fine. truth. She got herself You're killed tough. because she's an idiot. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Okay, we got here. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, Jimmy. You, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. I'm gonna, Daddy's I'm gonna home. screw them up. Minigun time, baby! Minigun time! There we go. Sorry. Okay. You stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe. Aw, uh, she actually does care about him. I thought she was gonna get angry about this, like blame it on him. Great, Mer Merryweather. Of course that. What the fuck? Focus, you fool! What? What just happened? I like just exploded. Maybe I should just uh, be careful, huh? Ah, shit, that's why. Man, I walked right into an explosion. I feel... Neither do I. Just keep calm. Okay, I'm just gonna stay up the stairs, okay? Don't worry, you're fine. Daddy is gonna save all of you. Daddy may be a killer, but in this case, you want him to be. Go on. Oh no, by all means, funnel through. No, seriously, I want. Sorry, who's calling who? Out on cowardice, huh? Your armor is useless here, my friend. Your armor ain't doing you much good, is it, punk? Can you believe these guys? They actually think they stand a chance. We have to teach them a lesson. A lesson in pain. Okay, where are you bastards at? Is that it? Did I win? I think it's over now. Okay, never mind. It's never over. How with these sons of bitches? There we go. See, no problem.
Is it over now? Of course not. Here comes the next contestant. There what goes the, the next this? contestant. How many of these guys are there? Sorry, sweetie. There's going to be a few bullet holes around the house. I hope you don't mind. Better around the house than in your skull, am I right? They should have gone with him. Then he wouldn't. We wouldn't have been in this problem. Oh crap. Is that all you got? Nope, oh, they still got some more men. Hey, look, buddy. You're not gonna stand up to me, so why even try? I still have a 770 more rounds. You still wanna go? Crafty dick. Faking his death. Ah, oh, crap, this is bad. Who's that? I'm gonna start shooting! Oh, is that Jim? <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it all! <laughs> Get up. Bro, what are you doing? I, I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? Wow, okay. You really fucked him up good, though, huh? Alright, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Well, um, getting teabagged by your son, that's gotta be embarrassing, huh? Wow. Huh. They came to my yeah. house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. Well, that could have uh, ended better, huh? At least this time they're not leaving because they're mad at him. You know? Could be worse. Okay, I got a better idea. Oh, it's actually not that far. Never mind. I think I might be just drive myself. I was gonna take a taxi, but it's right there, you know? I don't really need to. Also, you can hear more of this music. Yeah, Michael's not gonna live this one down, huh? Well, on the plus side, Jim actually, he actually helped him for once. Given that he's the one who spiked, his, who basically fed him drugs and set him up. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm going to take care of this. Yeah. Now that is not a lie. 
he already knows who did it, so that was kind of a lie, but he's not lying about the fact that he does love them. You can tell. He may be good at lying, but he, he at least has good reasons for lying. He's trying to not let them panic. Maybe I'm cutting him too much slack here. Well, you need to learn how to walk, lady. Never too late for us all to learn, huh? Well, I think I gotta go inside. Probably. Yeah. Very well then. What the? Okay then. Well, time to enter. I'm just gonna mute things for a bit. Look, but don't touch. Good advice, I think. Look, don't touch. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me, right, huh? Enough, You're... enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. We load up, we get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. They're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use, the other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's gotta be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of heat, so think about yeah. that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if okay, you're interested then. in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Right. Um, oh, right. Uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, the normal suspension's going to give out under a couple of tons of Hey! Gold. Whoa, man. Is. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. in total. <laughs> that's what I can How get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Yeah. Michael? Subtle or obvious? What's it going to be? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the obvious. Let's uh, go with the drill. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay. Um, two gunmen and two drivers. 
Gotcha. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. It ain't right. that complicated. Come on. Okay, there we go. Select this guy. And then that guy's the only one left. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman right. 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. <laughs> yeah, CJ. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy. There wasn't much money in that bureau thing, you know? We gotta give him a shot. And this guy. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Yes. Confirm. I went with the most expensive options because, hey, you got to. No time for... This isn't amateur hour here. This is the big score. We got to go with the most expensive options we can. Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him and him personally to come at the front door. The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Now, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. I love how in this entire relationship, Frank's kind of the one trying to say, hey, would you both just shut up? You know? Frank's actually trying to make things sensible. He's trying to make this work. He's like... Dude, can both of you just shut up, please? Can we both, can both of you just shut up and we can just do this? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, Frank always was the sensible one, wasn't he? <laughs> yes? Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. I know money doesn't matter when you're dead. That's why I'm going to spend a little money and get my give me some minigun bullets. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Excuse me, sir. Ah, crap. Gotta lose the cops first. Shit, they saw me. Well, this isn't good. I'm really in trouble. Fuck. <laughs> I need to lose them. Gotta shake the coppers before I can get some minigun bullets. At least they don't see me as of currently. I just gotta make sure it stays that way. Try to avoid their patrols, you know? Here we go. Little by little, you feel a bit better. Um, okay. Call him, kid. I'll be there soon. 
You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Just give me a second, Jimmy. I'm coming right over. Okay, rounds. Give me all the freaking rounds. 3,000 rounds, baby. Yeah. I think that'll more than save Jimbo. And get the job done. Okay, here we go. Gotta go save the kid. Expecting of me every night I lie awake Feeling like I'm Ah, uh, this is where the LODs start breaking. Well, at least not for long. Well, unless you count that, and that. Yeah, why did the LODs just randomly break entirely? It's weird. That's, that shouldn't even be a loading issue, because you can see that there there's something loaded in there, and then it just disappears. There's gotta be some bugs going on here. when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Who is that animal? Come on, pal. That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd. Okay, you want you want to do this, huh? I'm gonna shoot his tires. I'm not allowed to kill them, but I can still shoot out their tires and try to stop them. Here, try try getting away now. It's over. Okay, I didn't kill him, so uh didn't count. Fuck, man, do you think do you think it's over? Yeah, 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 he's gone. Come over here. Are you sure? The dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look. He thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. <laughs> yeah. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Get away from me! And I'm the guy who's gonna kill him if he does anything stupid. So don't worry about it. Everything is just fine. Not an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? <laughs> like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, <laughs> you don't get it. I see. Humor comes with repetition. Like, 
You say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E fuck enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Fucking fun you have. <laughs> Michael, the pro killer, is like, what the hell are you up? What the hell are you doing? I'm kind of shaken up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? Define sane. Gary, can you define sane for me? Because I... I don't think I know what sanity is. Ah, so this is where they're staying for now. Oh, about to say. The oh, troll what? is back oh. in his lair. Now stay off <laughs> the internet for a while and don't wind people up so much. I <laughs> learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. I wonder if I can uh, finish Grand Theft Auto V before this is over. Because if it's just that one score and then something's gonna happen at it, I have like an hour and a half. I could probably do it. Hmm. Can I use uh, Michael's own car for this? Or is that not a good enough getaway car? You know, we need something fast, so... If sourced a sky crane, uh, just devote the train, call the others to fly in, deal with any station workers. Here we go. Say suitable, you can modify it to make it faster and tougher, then select getaway vehicle ready when calling Lester. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Los Santos Customs, if I even know where the frick that is. Uh, over here. Yeah, kids these days. Trolling online. Uh oh. I say as I literally break the law and have cops after me. Even the guy who, like, has been killing and robbing people is basically telling them, the hell, dude. You got the, give me a call when you found something that might work. I will. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, Lester, I'm just gonna tweak it a little. Just gonna give it a little tweaking. I saw. Oh shit, the cops are after me. Fuck. Damn it. Of course. Of course they would find me. Dead end. I need something that's not a dead end. That way, I can make a getaway if I have to. Okay, good. Here we go. Rip it up, rev up for doomsday. Only shame Hooded isn't here. He loves this song. You know it, baby. Okay, repair vehicle. Let's get some armor here. I got over $12 million. I think I can afford, you know, a little bit of a touch-up, right? Armor upgrade 100%, baby. Race brakes, engine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, um, uh, top out everything. 
See, now from here, it's just about customization. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Acceleration, here we go. I think most of these are just about... Yeah, it's customization. You don't really need that. Although, I will uh, give it a respraying. I like me metallic. Let's go for midnight purple. That seems uh, good for Michael, I think. I like giving him very dark and cool colors because that seems more up his style, you know? Hmm, probably not. Actually, yeah, that works. Okay, I think that will just about do it. We don't need to go crazy here. It's just a getaway vehicle. Besides, if I make it stick out too much, it might become too recognizable. I got you covered, Lester. I forgot, I gotta call him, not just get it through that. Getaway vehicle ready. Hey, I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. A wild Elkrimi appears in the Twitch chat. Come on, why don't we spin the wheel? See who it. Ah, crap. Huh, that really is 100% armor, huh? Didn't even scratch it. Lose it all, yeah. Who knows what the whims of fate may leave us? Oh, wow, that girl just disappeared. That's great. What's your handicap, Michael? Being stuck in this crap, huh? Okay, leave the vehicle. Here we go. HS, HS, huh? Mission passed. Bitchin. Still got an hour and a half. I think I can beat it. What do you think, Gary? I think I can beat Grand Theft Auto V today. <laughs> cars in the garage good work but let's not get ahead of ourselves there's a fair amount of prep work still to do I got you Lester I got you uh, the alchemy escaped that's fine wait what the only one I thought I saw two on the map weird oh well doesn't matter Must be further out or something. Device. See. Yeah. What? Well, let's just enjoy the fun. It feels so free. Give in to temptation. Maybe lose it all. Yeah. Who knows what the whims of fate may leave us? Actually, that would also be really cool if I had that new computer to play Red Dead Redemption 1 on. It might actually run better. Man, I'm pretty sure it could. We'll just have to see, though. 32 gigabytes, though. That should take care of any RAM issues. If 32 gigabytes isn't enough, then that's just crazy. If I remember correctly, the Switch has four gigabytes of RAM, period. Okay, wh where do I go? Ah, still the driller. Guess I'm just gonna... Don't worry about it, pal. Ah, shit. I should have killed everybody first. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I got carried away. Focus, you fool! Shit, 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 shit. I tried stealing it before I ensured that everyone was dead. That was my fault. My bad. Oh, you. 
There you go, pal. I'm gonna preemptively kill everybody. It's gonna preemptively kill everybody. Anyone else want to be a hero? That's why I thought. That's what I freaking thought, baby. That's why I freaking thought. Ah, shit. This is bad. I'm I'm cornered here. I don't think so. Great, how am I gonna lose them? It's not like I'm gonna hide in this thing. This thing is way too slow. Actually, I run them. Wait, I can actually hide from the police in this clunker? Really? Am I actually going to get away with this? I'm going to have to get out. Oh, wow, that was easy. Can you believe that? Such a distinct vehicle that is so slow, and I still managed to get away from the cops. That's crazy. Michael. Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. You know what this proves, Gary? These cops really don't give a damn, do they? I'm sure they know that one of these got stolen and nearby where I was spotted one just so happens to be driving around with the side window broken. Nothing suspicious here. <laughs> By some maniac who isn't even driving properly on the road. These cops just don't care. They'll do the bare minimum. Oh, that was so perfect. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. I think we're just about ready for the heist to end all heights. Are, are you ready, Gary? Are you ready, Safinez, if you're still here? Is everybody else who may be watching ready? It's time for the ultimate heist. We're about to go crazy. Actually, I think I may have to get an... Oh, no, wait, no, that would have been for approach A. This is to get the drill and I gotta distract them. So I think I may have everything I need already. Got you, then I don't care. I'm pretty sure if I had chosen option A, Trevor would have found a reason to fall Michael there, too. Oh, of course. You want to get out of the action, don't you? Okay, fair enough. Mission passed. Are we done? Are we ready for the heist? We good? Hey, Lester. All right, Lester. The drill's at the lot. So, if we can just get a hold of the train, we'll be ready to hit it. Ah, right. We need the train. My bad. Hey, friend. Hmm. Interesting. Uh-oh. Yeah, like you can catch me anyway. Ah, the heist setup. That's what that means. That makes sense. 
No one can stop us now. Gotta get there somehow. Hey, Trevi. Hey, Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine. I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there. I'll be nice. on a headset. Inca incapacitate the railway workers. Is that a nice way of saying kill them? I mean, let's be real. <laughs> We're not there to give them a love tap, are we, Gary? I mean, maybe I can use the stun gun. Yeah, maybe I can just stun him. You know what? I'm gonna try not to kill, not killing for once. You shouldn't be here. Hey, T, you there? I dealt with the guard. I'm about to flip the sighting. And I'm still on the way to the chopper. Chill out. Okay, Trevi. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this alley. Wait for a train to stop in the sightings. Ah, uh, here we go. Gentlemen, we're about to get ourselves a train. The moon. T, the train's coming to a stop. You in the chopper? Roger that. Ready for takeoff. Let's do it. Guess I gotta do this, too. say pal pick up freight engine okay he's gonna pick it up it's crazy but it this is gonna be tough it's one of those precision things I'm guessing ah crap Not a big fan of these precision things. Fred. You gotta be really precise about this. 
I was never that good at it. What am I supposed to do again? It said pick it up. Is that not how you pick it up? Yeah, I might just die if I screw it up. towards it, please. This is actually pretty tough. Wild side duck appear in chat. Twitch chat, obviously. Now am I supposed to do this exactly? Just right on top of it too. It's where it's like a needle. Try and They don't make this easy, do they? Especially. Am I gonna get prompted or something? Oh, wait. You have to press a button? I'm not getting prompted to press anything, but... Is there something I'm supposed to be pressing here? I swear, the amount of precision you need for this, though. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna check these settings to see if there's some kind of button that I need to be pressing for this, because... I honestly don't know. Okay, uh, grapple. Okay, aircraft grapple. So it's E? I think I tried to press that. Oh, crap. Okay, gotta get right over it. Pressing E and nothing's happening. How the hell do you do this? This is ridiculous. The precision that it requires. What the fuck? The helicopter was destroyed? What the fuck? Well, I'm glad there's not a huge requirement for precision. Focus, you fool! I'm glad there isn't a lot of requirements for precision here. These might be my least favorite. It's because the amount of precision required. I think you gotta be from exactly the right angle too, so that it's lengthwise with the train. You know, like this. But actually aligning yourself properly is... Balls, man. Balls. I 
I promise you, I am trying. And I turned around again. I think I might be better off trying to go for the keyboard. The other ones weren't this precise. It would be in the general area. Of course, the helicopter has to turn. Of course, the helicopter would have to turn at the last second. No, I didn't even touch anything. Okay, come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, it is. It requires such precision, too. It's not just, oh, if you're in the general area, you press E. No, it's... I guess you gotta be on top of the thing somehow without screwing it up. It's like threading a needle. I'm pretty sure I'd have better luck on Surgeon Simulator than this. That's how imprecise it feels. Come on, come on. Quit wobbling so much, please! Seriously, it's like... Oh, I know Trevor probably is drunk, but that's besides the point. The controls should not reflect that. Gameplay should not reflect Trevor being drunk. Whether he is or not. Evis. Hey, come on. That is precise as I'm getting it. Well, what the hell are you supposed to do? That's about as precise as I'm getting it over the damn thing. Easy does it. Bruh, what the hell? That wasn't good enough? I'm sorry. Michael died? Well, when did Michael die? I'm gonna hook the couplings and have a little talk with the driver. Pick up the freight engine. Shit. I may have to end up skipping it because this is this is just ridiculous. This is just me or is this kind of ridiculous? Maybe it's easier with a controller, I don't know, but I, I swear to you, mouse and keyboard ain't it. This is tough. And Trevor's supposed to be the one that's really good at flying. Flying is maxed out for Trevor. You wouldn't think so with how imprecise this feels. I do it slow, I'm not gonna do it at all. Finally! I finally got it. Now it decides to cut me some slack. I guess it had to be at a very precise angle from it. That was weird. I guess my assumption that it had to be directly over it was a little false, huh? Great, now I gotta do another precise thing, don't I? Why does this have to be so difficult? Thank you. There we go. 
Got it. Now I gotta pick up a flatbed car carriage. This may shape up to be my least favorite mission in the game, if I'm being honest. I'm sure the heist will be great, but this... It's not my favorite, you know? At least I sort of got pretty good at the airplanes. The helicopters, I don't think I'll ever get used to on this game. Unless uh, it's easier with a controller. Ah, shit. Freaking birds. That isn't precise enough? How's that not precise enough? Okay, here we go. Oh, it's one of the flatbeds we needed, not one of the carriages. That's why. In that case, it was my fault. I didn't realize what a flatbed was. Take the flatbed to Trevor's airstrip. Isn't that just lovely? I hope I don't also have to put on the train tracks. When the time comes. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to put it on the train tracks. But yes, you have to put it on the trailer. Of course you do. Come on, come on. Okay, I think what I'm doing wrong is... I keep moving it... And I think you're supposed to just let go of everything. Really? Okay. Just when I think I haven't understood, it just decides to do something else. It's great. Okay, precision, precision, precision. Why does it prompt? What? It prompted me, man! And then it decided, nope, we don't need to prompt you. Bullshit, man. Talk about threading a freaking needle here. Like I said, I'm sure it's easier on a controller, but it's just clearly not made with a keyboard and mouse in mind. Wobbling around and turning around when I just want to go forward? Come on. I swear to God, I try to just move it forward and then it just wobbles off to the side for no reason. This thing is... I swear, Trevor feels like he's drunk. And again, he may, may very well be drunk, but that doesn't mean it has to reflect on that. We think Trevor doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And I know it's me controlling him, but I wish it was a little easier. Don't you give me the prompt? Come on. Come on, man. It doesn't feel like giving me the prompt. Thank you. Please tell me it's over. Or just use the keyboard itself. That is worse in some ways. If I'm being honest, in some ways that might actually be worse. Okay, Lester's ready to go. You said you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need, and we'll meet at the strip club. Good. Does that mean we can do this now? We doing this or what? I don't want to have to land this as Trevor. Trevor can do that himself. What? I'm sorry, what? What is Michael doing when I'm not controlling him? Did you see that? I don't even know how he managed that. 
How does Michael man? How does he function? He somehow managed to get the car on the roof of that thing. Yeah, seriously. No wonder they have me control the characters in the important moments. Apparently, they would flub it up every step of the way if it wasn't for me. I know Frank's the the uh, real expert when it comes to driving, but I didn't know uh, Michael was that bad at driving. If I'm being honest. That. Hello. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Thanks. What's that? There's some flashing lights going that way. I'm actually curious about what that is. Oh well. The important thing is I need to get over to that street club. You ready to do the big score, Gary? Because I am. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. This is the big one. Let's do it. Yo mama don't bring your dad to the mall cuz when he Nope, don't. Ah shit. Wait, what? Why do you why do you get out of the car? Dude, no. Here we go. Come on, buddy, let's go. Buckle up. Oh, wait a minute. What the frick? I forgot. I, I don't remember where I'm going. Okay, my bad. What the hell is Michael doing? What the? I'm, I'm confirming the destination and he just gets out for no reason. All I did was press enter. All I did was press enter, sir. I did not press anything to get out of the goddamn vehicle. What the hell is going on here? I want to know what kind of bullshit that is, where this... Fuck, man. That's just unlucky right there. Yeah, hey, I need a cap. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Appreciate it. Uh, could you make this next driver competent by chance? Crap, I almost thought that was the one. I swear to God, I did not press anything but enter. Which should have been confirmed destination. Maybe it registered that I hit it twice, who knows. Apparently there was a spoink, but it's gone now. Sorry. Okay, here we go. It's it's good it's good this time. Actually, Enter should have just skipped it. You know, like this. I didn't ask him to stop. All I did was press enter. Well, after I pressed Q to switch the radio station, because, you know, that. But other than that, I don't know why I did that. Okay, it's do or die time, Gary. It's do or die time. It's for all the marbles, eh? In fact, I think I should make a second save for this. Just because. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Let's do it, man. It's all it's go time, bro. Pump for this. Are you pumped for this? Ah, here we go. Good. Oh, wait. Come on. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Fuck yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Yeah. Ready for action, huh? Damn right. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. 